At six, we heard from former Detroit Lion quarterback Dan Orlovsky on how he went from player to broadcaster at ESPN. Tonight on Bench, Jamie Edmonds asks him about Matthew Stafford and the Lions heading into the season. Guys, we know a few things about Dan Orlovsky. No, I'm not talking about that play. One, he was drafted by the Lions, so it's his favorite team. And two, he's friends with Matthew Stafford. But he says he takes his job at ESPN so seriously, he's honest in his analysis of both. If I continue to toot Matthew Stafford's horn, I'm not, that, that, and he's playing poorly, that's not me doing my job. Again, I'm not going to get paid for that. And so uh, I still believe that Matthew is an outstanding quarterback. He was proving it last year before the injury. Stafford looks right, not there, now over the middle. That's it! It's a touchdown to the rookie, Hawkinson. Orlovsky believes a healthy Stafford is step one to get the Lions back into the playoffs. Step two, draft well. And he believes Quinn just had his best one. You can make the case that they were one of the teams that could potentially have gotten four starters in their first four rounds. That's a big deal. And so I thought it was a really strong draft. Step three, tighten up that defense. Matt Patricia's calling card. Play Martinez for the pocket. Looped it over the head and it's intercepted. Picked off, off the hands of Robinson, and Acuna's got his second pick tonight. I still think they're going through a culture transition, and that's still rubbing some guys the wrong way. But there's a saying in the NFL, you know, winning cures everything. Nah, they're winning covers everything. And so you can have some disagreements with coaches and whatnot, but as long as you're winning, that will get covered up. As for if there will be games to play come fall, Orlovsky believes the NFL season will start on time. The window for guys to make their money in the NFL is small. They don't have 25 years to do it. A lot of them have three, four, five. And so there's not going to be a lot of guys that sit back and you know what? Uh, I, I'm, I don't want to be away from them. Hey, you tell me when and where to be and I'll quarantine myself. And as long as I get paid, we will play the season. So I think that we will have the NFL season. I'm hopeful at least. For now, Orlovsky is at home with his wife and four kids when he's not getting pranked by them. <laughs> if I have television soon. <laughs> he's broadcasting for ESPN from his home office. As for that friendship with Stafford. Matthew and I are very good friends. He also canceled on a golf trip of mine this year. So like, you know, like we can't so be that good of friends. Yeah, like here. if he was that, if we, if we were that close, he wouldn't have bailed on our golf trip. As to wins when they do get to play golf, Orlovsky told me this. His wallet was full of Stafford's money the last time they played. Steve Sander, back to you. Uh, he's a good guy.